this time we're doing another compatibility. Let me see what we're on. I think we're on Taurus. Just need to make sure though. I've been waiting to record this video because the maids were cleaning my house and they were in my room and it was kind of awkward. I was like, I need to film. Bro. Yeah, so we're doing Taurus. The union between Taurus and Taurus is an exciting one. This is simply because you are one of the signs that is compatible with itself for steamy romantic relationship. Both of you find adventure to be extremely fun, but the two of you are very sentimental, especially when it comes to love. Taurus prefers to stay in the company of the opposite sex and is naturally a flirt. You cannot tolerate lack of attention or, or deceit. Both of you love money and will work hard to get it. You are not afraid to share affection. Gemini is more open. Is attentive. Cancer is more responsive with some 
two of you have different personalities, the strength of one supports the weakness of the other. This is most probably a satisfying relationship, and there's a chance of a successful marriage sufficing if the two of you are both willing to give more than you receive. The two of you have a lot to share, such as assets, faults, deficits, and the same attributes. A union of the two of you spells out the word responsibility. Cancer is ideal for sharing ideas and interests, security, and permanence. Both of you have a sense of maturity, making your relationship a success. Oh my god! I don't know if it's my computer or it's like... I'm sorry. Taurus will have to abandon stubbornness and let Leo take the leading role in the relationship. While Taurus is egotistic and reserved, Leo remains sympathetic and active. Although Taurus tries to be affectionate and loving, Leo is hard to please. This with no doubt will bring in some complications to the relationship. Taurus wants their feelings returned. Taurus finds it extremely difficult to worship and adore. Spendthrift, and this may not augur well with Taurus, because you are deliberate and cautious. The two of you may be compatible romantically, but it will be difficult for a relationship to stay afloat. Mm. Do not put significant amount of effort into it. While the two of you have a strong emotional and physical attraction, you'll be faced with many hurdles that might force you to give up eventually. This relationship sticks more toward being a romantic affair rather than a solid partnership. Leo loves being Taurus has a lot to learn from Leo, if you are willing to embrace it. The two of you may be very collaborative when in agreement, but you will need to work on reaching that middle ground. I'm scared. What's going on with my mic, guys? Taurus and Virgo. Virgo. <clears throat> I don't know. I'm doing everything right. Everything is right. I don't know what that is. Taurus and Virgo. The moment the two of you meet, it will be love at first sight share similar intellectual pursuits. Both of you are home lovers. Taurus has a physical nature that is revealing and strong, while Virgo has a sharp mind. If two of you are brought together, you become an ultimate story of success. Each has the ability to understand and respond to the needs of the other party, and this brings you closer. Taurus is adventurous when it comes to lovemaking, while Virgo prefers to keep it simple. You need to exercise some compromise on their different perspectives of life if you want to work this out. Taurus is very both have to be patient. The two of you share a passion for arts and the creative subjects. The weaknesses and negative traits of Virgo work to the advantage of Taurus and vice versa as it brings out the best qualities in you both. Taurus needs to work on a balance between emotions and intellect. The two of you are attracted to each other physically and this is a good sign as it will be a unifying factor. Taurus and Libra, Libra, Libra. Taurus most often prefers and sexual mate as Taurus. Taurus and Libra differ in the style of self-expression. They may even find each other's opposite ways of self-portraying to be repulsive to the other. This, however, is not a cause for any alarm as they can both compromise easily for the sake of the relationship. Libra and Taurus love to indulge in the pleasures of life, but Libra is more indulging than Taurus. This makes the couple able to go out for romantic dinners and other fun activities. If the physical connection is not needs and desires a calm partner and since libra is a natural born peacemaker this makes them suited for each other since they detest uncouth behavior libra is more diplomatic when dealing with issues while taurus is more practical when solving problems libra enjoys sharing intimate moments with their partner while taurus are the silent types it doesn't make them less sensual or sexual taurus and scorpio And you share a strange compatibility. Taurus, what the fucking shit is going on? Oh my mother luck. Okay. God damn. Both of you are stubborn and jealous, and you share a strange compatibility. Taurus wants to be in charge, while Scorpio wants to call the shots. But on a more emotional level,
Taurus and Sagittarius. When these two signs come together, the relationship may be very steamy. Taurus finds the passionate and pleasant nature of Sagittarius exciting, but that is just about everything the two share. The two of you have very different personalities. Taurus wants to control Sagittarius, while Sagittarius treasures personal freedom. Both of you have some domestic abilities and talents, but you do not seem to notice this and realize that those can actually bring you together. Taurus is romantic the imagination Sagittarius has. The two of you are good lovers and are compatible to some extent, but your union has a short future and marriage does not have any favorable prospects. Taurus can build a future with Sagittarius only if they both review their objectives and make sure to accomplish what they start. Taurus finds Sagittarius to be quite a challenge, but it is this challenge that will unearth the potential of Taurus. The two of you have a good way of attracting other people. This is a good Is very cautious and can be aloof at times. Each of you share a mutual understanding of the other. You both love money and appreciate the safety that comes with having a significant amount of cash in the bank. Taurus has a way of breaking the unfriendly wall around Capricorn and is able to provide responsiveness and encouragement that is required to warm Capricorn up. You are both successful when it comes to intimacy because of your passionate nature. Capricorn is able to sober Taurus up to be more analytical in all situations. Taurus should be willing Understand. I don't understand. Okay. The relationship between Taurus and Capricorn stands a chance of succeeding, and there is a high possibility that it will end up in a happy marriage. Capricorn inspires Taurus, especially when it comes to achieving goals in life, such as journeys to philanthrop philanthropic enterprises, philosophy, higher education, and other aspirations. If Taurus wants to grow, break barriers, and to enlarge scope, That's the maid sweeping. Yeah. Taurus and Aquarius. Aquarius has a careless attitude, especially when it comes to love. This will not only shock, but also enrage Taurus, who is very passionate and is not looking for someone to simply play around with. Aquarius will find you, Taurus, to be very demanding and needy. Aquarius opts for an intellectual communication, while Taurus prefers to be physical. You can be quite pushy when you are angry, and Aquarius tends to pull away. Conservative Taurus appreciates security. Aquarius is progressive and eager to try new things. Aquarius has a fascination with the human concerns, while on the other hand, Taurus remains narrow-minded. The big ideas of Aquarius that board are crazy. They have a major effect on the career of most more conservative Taurus. Aquarius has an honest concern about the aspirations and ambitions of Taurus, and this makes the relationship harmonious in the professional areas. Your stubborn nature may kill the relationship eventually unless you are both willing to sit down, listen, and discuss issues in a Taurus and Pisces. Pisces. The two of you make a happy combination. Taurus is authoritative and strong and can provide stability and security for Pisces. Who is resolute. This is what I'm doing right now because it's not fucking working. Who is resolute? The best way for Taurus to work with Pisces is by being tactful and encouraging the Pisces partner in all their endeavors. The perseverance. for sensuality and beauty. 
doing it. 